guys, I'm Kiwana Harris. Last week, we focused on the foundation, but this week, we are focusing on the foundation of the foundation. Join me on In The Life Of. We're going to have a little chat. So today I am going to be a um, kindergarten teacher. So I'm no going problem. to be playing your role. But before we get into it, I want to know a little bit about you and why you why was this the profession of choice for you? Okay. Um, hi and thank you. I am Auntie Peter Gay Thomas. I, to be honest, to be the all honesty, I never choose this path. Mm -hmm. I guess it was a God-given calling on my life because from I was a child I always say I want to be a nurse but somehow um, God steered me in this path I always love children I, have, I always have a passion for children and so when I come to this institution to work as a volunteer shortly uh, the principal introduced me that why don't go and try doing early childhood and I was a bit hesitant you know, I was delayed because I said I never want to do any early childhood. But after a while, I said I'll get warm up to it, and I applied, and I went to the to Garmix and get certified. And um, it's a heartwarming feeling. Trust me, to be around the children, even though sometimes they can be a bit much, mm -hmm. but it's rewarding. The greatest joy as a teacher is to see a child that never knew anything, and they teach that child, and they said, Auntie. You know, they can, they can repeat what you teach them. It's a joy. And for me, I want to, you know, put enough values and attitude, God-given values and attitude, and, you know, other things in them, because we have to catch them from this age. Right, so how long have you been teaching? Well, um, call it about six years. Okay, six years. so you have six years under your belt, right? right. What's the best part of, of your job? All right, the, as I said earlier, the best part of my job is getting a child that don't know anything, can't do anything, and you work with that child. And you see that child, you know, produce, reproduce what you have poured into them. That's, that's the, the best feeling they could ever have as a, as, a teach, as a teacher. And sometimes you get some children, they're in a class, and you, fa you feel you're teaching them and they're not learning anything because they're not, when you're, when you're teaching, they're not responding. But when the parents come and say, Auntie, Everything that you teach them, they come back and recite it. You know, not to go too far, but as I have a child, and when she was in my class, I don't hear anything from her. She was quiet. She's not, she don't talk to that other student. And I was saying to the mother, um, you know, I don't know, but I don't hear her saying anything in class. And so she said, Auntie, she said everything you teach her, and she sent me a video. And that warms my heart. So you feel like they are not doing, they are not grasping what you're saying, but they are taking everything, they're like sponge, they're taking everything what you're saying. So you have to just be careful what you do and try to instill the best thing in there as, as possible. I do share a lot of the sentiments that you share being a teacher myself, but is there one thing that you would change within the early childhood education in Jamaica and what, what is that? All right, um, for me, this is my personal view. For change anything in early childhood education, I would say I think government needs to put more emphasis put more into early childhood. I don't think they put enough into early childhood. And remember, this is the basic, this is mm -hmm. where they start from. Foundation. The foundation of where they start from, the roots. I don't think they, they give us enough resources to work with. I don't think they, 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 they give us, um, compensate us enough. And you know, there's so many other areas that they can, you know, help us. Because some of us, we are willing but we need more help than what we are getting now. It's my time now, so introduce me to my class. Thank you for having me. No problem, come along. Good morning again. Good morning. We have here with us a beautiful lady. She's our guest today. She's Auntie Kiwana Ari. Say good morning, Auntie Kiwana. Good morning, good morning. We're talking about exercise, the importance of exercise and the different types of exercise. Okay, so what is, why is exercise important? Can it anyone make tell me? It make you healthy and make you strong. Anything else? Make it run faster. Make it run faster? All right. <laughs> for your eyes. Exercise is good for your eyes? <laughs> well, and maybe, exercise. yes. And exercise, what else exercise is good for? Hmm? What else? 
Yes, Anybody? All right, who can show me a, show me an exercise? All right, come come forward and show me. What are you going to do for me today? Wow, go on again. Go on again. What? Don't wow, anybody else? Who else can? All right, let me see you. One more. What's this one? Wow, look at you. No, man, in the north exercise. Somebody else. Who else? All right, Kadar, thank you. Who else? You want to try? All right, come, your time. All right, jumping jacks, jumping, jumping jacks. jacks, jumping jacks. Look here in a healthy. Yes, Kada, we know. Kada. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. All right, so we know that exercise is good for us, it makes us healthy, right? Yes, what? Thank you very much. You're very, very, very inquisitive and notice. You like my dress? All right, thank you. And I oh. like those. All, all right, right Kadar, right. thank you. Thanks. Allow all Auntie right. to, to speak. Okay, so exercise is good for us. What else is good for us? Is ice cream good for us? No. Why? Vegetables. Vegetables. Good boy. And what else? Carrots, right. What else? Broccoli. What's that? Broccoli. Broccoli. Very good. And? Carrots. carrots. Okay. We got carrots. Anything else? Any I other vegetables? Lettuce. lettuce. And what else? Cabbage. Cabbage. Very good. Alright, so if I come into the classroom like no and I said to you, okay, I want to give you guys some cake and ice cream and Kentucky fried chicken. Well, no, all no, that. No, no. Thank you, Kadar. Thank you very much. But if I came in and I brought some apples and some oranges. That, those, are not, those are not healthy. That apples, are healthy. apples are healthy. Apples are healthy. And oranges and <laughs> carrots and stuff. So so we know the foods that makes us healthy, right? Bananas. Bananas too. Apples. Right. So Watermelon. Do you like watermelons? Yes! Who likes like watermelons? Yes. Raise your hands if you love watermelons. And, I, and also pineapple is healthy. I love pineapple, Kadar. I love it. Me too, me too. Yes, me too. and apples. And, 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 and goats like pineapple too. Goats like, like pineapples? Mm -hmm. And they okay. like pine. And they like pine. Very um, good. I Very like good. Pine juice. Uh, pine. Hey. Okay. Um, banana. Kadar. Okay, so so we know that exercise is good for us, right? We know that eating healthy foods are good for us also, right? What else would be good for us to tell me something else? Tomato. 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 No, tell me something else that would be good for us. Sit and wait. Yeah, but we do we talk about that already. We talk about carrots and we talk about we talk about foods and we talk about exercise. Is there anything else that would be lettuce? That, okay, we I talk about lettuce. Word. So what about us having like taking showers and brushing our teeth? And and uh, make your teeth shiny. Right. So those and make your what? And also nice. Make your Oh, make your boots be nice. Your mouth be nice. Okay, very shiny. All right, thank you. Kadar. Anything else? So we we'll take a shower. Does that make us healthy? Yes. Yes, yes it does. Uh, yes. It makes us what? Clean. And we wash wash our hair. It makes our hair. With shampoo. Right. All right. You have been such lovely children. Give yourself a round of applause. I certainly, I certainly enjoyed teaching you today. Did you learn anything from Auntie Kiwana today? Yes. Thank you. What did you learn <laughs> from Auntie Kiwana today? What did you Exercise. learn? Exercise. What Exercise. What else? And healthy food. He food, healthy and food, and right. And, and healthy things. And Very and good. And and brushing your teeth. And Very bed. good. And being. And being, yes. Thank you. <laughs> and, it's all, and also, what's I all? use two pairs and two pairs. You can wash your hands. And, and, right. And sleep, you, that's healthy. When yes, you are. You are such a bright boy. Sleeping is healthy too. When, when you jiggle in that and it's not healthy. Okay. Mm hmm.
What else? Go to the doctor. Oh, you go to the doctor. That will make you healthy too when you go to the doctor? I want to go to the dentist. All right, boys and girls, I want to thank you so much for having me this morning. I really enjoyed teaching you. Did you enjoy having me this morning? Yeah! How much? From a scale of 1 to 10, how much? One out of 10. Oh my, my God, Kabar, <laughs> you are just the charmer. Thank you. Oh, so oh mighty God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I certainly enjoyed it. Kadar, you made it even more special. Thank you. you. Want <laughs> All right. What do we tell Auntie Kiwana? Thank you. You are so beautiful to me. Guys, this in the life of is absolutely one of my favorites. I do share some of the sentiments that Auntie Peter Gay shared, and we really do need to work on the foundation of our early childhood education. On that note, guys, please remember to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter and to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Real Talk Jamaica. This is In the Life Of. This segment was sponsored by the Beauty Project Training Institute by Kiwana Harris. They specialize in hair and nail care training. Invest in knowledge, better your skills. Follow us on Instagram at TBP Training Institute 